Premium cars. What are the first car brands that come to your mind when you think about premium cars? Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Cadillac, and just a handful more. Soon to that list, you're going to be adding up a new name, and that name is the Genesis. Today, we're going to be reviewing the 2018 Genesis G80. The Genesis G80 is the second product within the Genesis lineup of three. It succeeds the G90 and precedes the G70. Its competition is the BMW 5 Series, Mercedes E-Class, the Lexus ES, which is a Nubo favorite, and the Caddy CDS. Of course, the exterior looks all premium, but what's missing is that known batch that everyone really would consider a premium car. But according to me, these wings are definitely going to take this brand up high in the years to come. Exterior. The G80 has bi-xenon headlamps, followed with a LED strip on the bottom and right under the xenon headlamps. It has 19-inch alloy wheels, and what gives it its sporty edge is the four exhaust pipes sticking out of the rear bumper. So that makes it look premium and sporty at the same time. I'm not going to get much into about details about the exterior, because as you can see, it's a good-looking car. What we're going to talk about more is about what's under the hood and what's on the inside. So, let's take a look. What a well-crafted interior the G80 has. What's so pleasant to the eye are these light brown seats, which is complemented with this dark brown leather through the center console and the door panels. What's also very impressive and according to me is the cherry on the top is this brown wood, which is light and it's not reflective, so it's that nice matte finish. But hey, if you think the front is good, wait till we hop into the back. For the first time ever, I want to be a passenger in the car and not the driver because look at this passenger cabin, it is epic. There's so much to do in the back seat and it has so many features. Feature I love the most is that I can control the front seat from the back. This is how it is. How cool is this? Coming over to what we have here in the center, firstly my seats can be climate controlled which is really cool for back seats because you don't really have that option in a lot of cars to have that in the rear seats, it's usually just the fronts. What's also really cool is that these screens could be adjusted to avoid reflections and glare. What's also cool is the sunshade. Unfortunately, it needs to be operated manually rather than with a control, so that's a little of a drawback, but not bad at least. What's also impressive is that the back seat has a glove box with charging ports. It's not refrigerated, unfortunately, but it's pretty cool. Talking about the features of the car, Let's start with the panoramic sunroof. I love how it splits from the center. That's a very innovative way of doing it. Moving over to a 9.2 inch touchscreen that could also be controlled by a rotary knob. This infotainment is equipped with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so that's really great. It has a 14 speaker stereo, really loud, epic bass. The seats of the passengers at the back on the side as well as the driver are all climate controlled and it, the driver has a 12 way adjustability so he, it could be adjusted to your perfect comfort level. It has a front view camera with the click of this button here and it gives you a 360 degree view and different angles as well and of course a rear view camera when on reverse. Coming to the most fun part of a review is the driving experience. The G80 that we have today is a 5.0 V8 with 420 horses under the hood, an all-wheel drive vehicle and an 8-speed automatic transmission. What is fabulous is that the transmission is so smooth, it's just like silk. The car has three drive modes which is Eco, Normal and Sport. Needless to say, Sport is what you want to be driving on to have fun and normal is best for city drive. The Genesis G80 has three engine specs. It starts with a 3.3 liter turbo V6, a 3.8 liter V6, and the one we're in, which is a 5.0 liter V8. To highlight a few safety features, it has auto lane keep assist, lane departure warning, 
blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, automated emergency braking. So it's filled with a lot of features in terms of safety, as well as a couple of features that you will be seeing a little later on the review. What I love is this. That feel when you're giving it a whole full throttle shoots up zero to 100 in no time. And being a GCC spec, every time a 120 it will have that little beep. So to conclude, as a German car owner myself, I was a bit skeptical about the Genesis, but I stand corrected, it has impressed me. The price tag on this one is 260,000 dirhams. Let's be honest guys, you don't really see a lot of this batch around UAE, considering that not many people know about the Genesis, but if the Genesis keeps at what they're doing, we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of this batch around town. So the premium car segment, welcome the G80 to your league.